what measures are in place to make compulsory provisions for employers to grant certain number of paid menstrual leaves to female employees? As a menstruating woman, I can pour very particularly in this house say, menstruation and a menstrual cycle is not a handicap. We should not propose issues where women are in some way denied an equal opportunity just because somebody who does not menstruate has a particular viewpoint towards menstruation. Through you to Honorable Minister, certain studies in the past have suggested that using sanitary pads could put one at risk from very many diseases. The car, the, car, the reason for this is that it is happening because the pads are given a clean and a smooth appearance through substances, including phthalate. I, I, I just urge, because it ultimately proves to be harmful, may I ask the Honorable Minister whether the government has considered the regulation of such chemicals in the manufacturing of sanitary napkins, which actually goes used in plastic softening? Honorable Minister. So the Honourable Member through you seeks to ask a question regarding manufacturing and the raw material used in uh, sanitary pads, which is again not pertaining to my ministry. However, I can say here, sir, that the Honourable Prime Minister has ensured that through 10,000 Janaushadi Kendras in the country, sanitary pads are available at one rupee. And to my knowledge, sir, thus far, I have not heard of or read of any complaints from that product. Second supplementary, Professor Manoj Kumar Jha. Thank you, sir. I, I, I wish to say, um, draw the attention, sir, 1992-93, Bihar was the first state under the leadership of Laluji, which gave menstrual leave for the first time, followed by Kerala. Your followed supplementary. Sir, so, my question is that what measures are in place to make compulsory provisions for employers to grant certain number of paid menstrual leaves to female employees? Thank you, Honorable sir. Minister. So, as uh, the gentleman would concede that as a menstruating woman, I can pour very particularly in this house say, menstruation and a menstrual cycle is not a handicap. Neither it's a natural part of a woman's life journey. Given that women today are opting for more and more economic opportunities, I will just put my personal view on this, sir. I'm not the officiating ministry. We should not propose issues where women are in some way denied an equal opportunity just because somebody who does not menstruate has a particular viewpoint towards menstruation. Uh, Professor Manoj Jha, you were very kind to give me medicine for my throat. I think you need for yourself also. 